New Japan Cup 2021 recap here. We're at Almighty SOS Wrestling Network back at y'all once again. So if your first time checking us out, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And let's go ahead and get into this. So it's been a couple of days since we talked about the New Japan Cup. Not really going to go under, under over the preliminary stuff. It's going to go over the past New Japan Cup matches that had happened, the results, what we thought about it, and where we're going from here on out. So it's your boy, Blunt Cianido, a.k.a. Benzo Mihara, a.k.a. Starter Shiyako here reporting on the New Japan Cup action. And God damn it, guys. Let's fucking get into it. Let's Nick Jimmy fucking crew. Let's fucking get into it. That's a UFC reference, by the way. So we're at Ota City Gen City General Gymnasium here, had an attendance of fourteen hundred and ten people. Not too bad, man. So let's get into these New Japan Cup matches on this show right here. So we have Suzuki going, leader Minoru Suzuki taking on the defeating Tamaki Homa in about a little under fifteen minutes here. Got style power driver and Minoru Suzuki advances to the second round of New Japan Cup here. And dude, this was a fucking banger in my opinion. Like this was a solid fucking match. And I didn't know we we're gonna get out of Tamaki Homa right here at this point, but it was just really, really fucking good. It told a great story by two men who love pro wrestling. Honestly, this match is really worth checking out if you have not seen this match or if you haven't heard anything about this match. This match is really worth checking out, guys. So Minoru Suzuki. Gets the victory over my man, Tamaki Homa here, via the Gotch-style Pal driver. Yeah, man, it was a solid fucking match. Really good. And one of Tamaki Homa's best matches in a long, long time, man. So, shout out to Tamaki Homa. Shout out to Minoru Suzuki, as always. So, yeah, when they were smacking the shit out of each other in this match, man. And they did a lot of violent stuff that I can't really do justice. Go back and check that out, please. So, the following match... We have New Japan Cup first round action. We have Kenta actually defeating Juice Robinson here. So this match, it was never really a bad match right here. There was a horrendous DVD exchange, and it gave Juice a chance. This match actually gave Juice a chance to show some of that blue-eyed babyface fire that he's so good at. But ultimately, ultimately, in my opinion, this match was a whisper when I really wanted this match to just, like, fucking yell at me. It was solid. These guys can definitely do more. Uh, Kenta advances here, so yeah, he's on to the second round, man. And then the main event of this show, we had Kazuchika Okada taking on Shingo Takagi, and we actually had Shingo Takagi defeating Kazuchika Okada here. And let me get you a time frame in about a little under, pretty much 24 minutes, last of the Dragon. So Okada gets beaten, defeated by Shingo Kata Takagi for the first time in his New Japan career. And we all know, if you haven't heard the rumors, the innuendo and all that good stuff, that Kazuchika Okada is actually wrestling with two slip discs right now. So him bowing out of this New Japan Cup is something that probably needs to happen. Um, I didn't know when we predicted this New Japan Cup, LK and I, that he had an uh, injury in his back. So that actually makes more sense that he lost this match. He needs to recuperate, man. I wish they would just kind of let Kazuchika Okada just rest up and recover because... Ultimately, you want that guy who's still pretty young in his own right, you want that guy to be around forever. And the way that they're kind of running things right now with Okada, he maybe not might not be. It's, it's yeah, it's super fucking interesting, y'all. So, now, we're on a night, uh, not night two, I believe it'll be uh, night, actually it is night, night two of the, night three of this weekend, night three, actually, of the New Japan Cup, excuse me. Excuse me when I, you know, mess up as I pull up my notes and then we move on to night three of the official, officially night three of the New Japan Cup. We only have two New Japan Cup matches on this show. So let's go ahead and break these bad boys down while we are at it, ladies and gentlemen. So the first New Japan, New Japan Cup on the action we have on this night, excuse me, easy for me to say, we have motherfucking Zack Sabre Jr. taking on Gabriel Kidd, the young lion himself right here. They gave these guys a lot of time. They gave them 17 minutes, and the result was never in question. Um... They certainly made the most of the time they're given. This is a match definitely, I suggest, worth checking out. Zack Sabre Jr. submitted Gabriel Kidd with an inverted triangle choke in about over 17 minutes. So definitely check this out. Like I said, this match, or this, the result of this match was never in question, but it's still something you should definitely check out. And maybe I can say the same for the main event of this show right here. So in the first round action, we have Hiroshi, not Hiroshi Tanahashi, God damn it, I always do that. We have Real Osprey defeating Hiroshi Tenzan, who was also accompanied with Master Waddle right here. And this match was actually pretty good as well. It was really good. Osprey actually pinned Tenzan following a Stormbreaker. Um, 
like I said, another match where we saw the result coming a mile away, but still a pretty good match from start to finish right here. Osprey was really good in this match, and Tenzan had a very had his second very solid singles outing in 2021. So shout out to Tenzan right here. So I really wasn't expecting either of those two matches that we got on this third night to set the world on fire, but both of them really turned out to be good, despite the fact that the winners were extremely obvious beforehand. Zack Sabre Jr. had an inter entertaining contest with Gabriel Kidd, while Will Ospreay had a very solid main event with Hiroshi, Tana, or Hiroshi Tenzan did it again. That sets up Ospreay versus Sabre in the second round, which should be a pretty, pretty good match, ladies and gentlemen. So that was our brief New Japan Cup recap. Sorry I went long because LK is supposed to join me on this, but I went too damn long with work. And, yeah, just made it to where LK can join me because, you know, time zones, man. Time zones fucking suck. So, we are the almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Tell us, tell a friend to tell a friend. Price of subscription is free 99 And, yeah, tell us what you're thinking about the New Japan Cup so far. And, also, because we're getting ready to wrap this boy up, man, I'm about this bitch like uh, my man Al Jermaine Sterling after taking the legal knee from Peter Yan. If y'all watch UFC, you get that reference. So, about it here. We got more New Japan Cup action tomorrow morning. Going to be on the lookout for that. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, guys. SOS Wrestling Network, the almighty SOS Wrestling Network, signing off. Adios.